Welcome to No Control RC. What are we doing today? We have the quick video of the TRL tuned LMT monster truck kit. Now, this is going to be the quick video. There will be a long video as well. Uh, we want to try to do something for everyone. I know depending on the given day, I either like watching a quick one or a short video and a, or a long one. So we want to try to make content for both. So this will be the quick one. So what we have is everything on the table here that we should need. We have the kit itself. We have a micrometer, a reefs servo, RC four-wheel drive wheels and tires. Now we did have some LMT style ones on order. Haven't gotten them yet, so we're going to roll with these for right now. We have stock electronics out of a King Sling. So that's 130 amp ESC, a 2800 kV motor, and a 315 receiver. We have a Spectrum battery. We have impact driver, Allen wrenches, hex drivers, uh, some sockets, and a few other odd and ends that we will need. Uh, this is probably the most important tool when you're doing a kit like this because there's a million baggies inside of one of these boxes. Now, well, there you go. That's abbreviated. Um, this is the kit assembled 90% of the way. We did the diffs and axles and transmission and all that stuff is in the long video. Um, you can go back and watch that up here if you want to see it. It's, if, it's good step by step. If you need the, the steps, we go through them very detailed. But if you're just looking for the basics of this kit and want to see one in person, well, here you go. It's got the nice carbon fiber chassis plates. And we'll zoom in and take a look at some of the other features on this. So here you go. You can see the aluminum support bars here, which is a great upgrade over the stock plastic units that were on the last setup. You do have these covers that go over the sway bars. I can't tell if the sway bars are actually fully updated or not. If they've tuned them at all, it's hard to tell. Um, the shocks are real nice shocks. I mean, these TRL tuned shocks, they actually were not even bad to build. And I normally hate building shocks, so that says a lot. You can see the upgraded aluminum steering knuckles here and the C hubs here. Um, the cases are still plastic, but the bottom where it mounts to the bottom mount right there is aluminum that goes to the bottom control arm. Nice upgrade. The shocks are tuned differently front and rear. See the green is the front and I believe gray is the rear. Uh, headers are the same as the regular trucks. You can see the Big improvement here is the aluminum support that goes between the top upper control arms. Um, that's a big, big help. And you can see the upgraded aluminum cross members here. Uh, it does have this realistic looking bump style wheelie bar set up. Um, it looks really nice. The carbon fiber is really nice. There's no sharp edge on it. It's got a nice bevel on it. This is a well-constructed kit. Like, I have zero complaints. The instructions were good. Um, it did take a while to go through, but I was filming a video, so I probably cut the time in half if I wasn't dealing with that. The axles can be a little cumbersome to put together, but once you get through one, the next one's a lot easier. Um, this kit is, is going to be a really nice kit. And I'm wondering how many they're actually going to make of them. So you may want to get your orders in as soon as possible because there's a rumor that they're only doing one run and then they're not going to make any more. I don't know how true that is. But just in case, if you really want one of these, you should probably get your order in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to finish assembling this and then we'll show you the completed truck and we'll go from there. Yeah, 
as you can see, we've got the cage on. It was very simple. Just follow directions. If you don't follow the directions, you're going to end up going backwards because I put the battery tray in first and then I couldn't get to these screws back here. So if you follow the instructions, they lay it out real nice. I just got ahead of myself and that's on me. So I had to go back, take it out. But after that, it's all super simple stuff. Got all these spacers here. I got my 12 millimeter hex on my, this side of the wheels. Now we're working on this side. So I figure we'll show you how one goes on. You don't need to see the whole shebang because all four are exactly the same and can get kind of monotonous. Um, so instead of the 17, you just use the 12. These are designed for the LMT specifically. And then you get the little pin. Snug it. You're good to go. Now you can mount any 12 millimeter wheel on there so long as it has a deep enough back spacing on it. Um, these have the factory ones from RC four wheel drive, the factory spec offset, and it works really well. There's no clearance issues on the front. I'll show you here in a second. We just got to get some nuts on these so that they don't fall off. So as you can see here, got plenty of space here. There's absolutely no rubbing binding issues. The Shocks we may need to move to a different location to get some actual travel out of them. There ain't a whole lot there. And we actually want it to flatten out some more. So we'll move the shocks to an upper inner mounts and the lower further away mounts down here. Gain some more travel. Um, helps you get the sway bars right. That's the way the sway bar should be. And as you can see, that might be an issue there with the way they reverse. So we'll put some limiting straps on this that does actually come with a set. So to limit the amount of travel you have here so that it can not actually flip and, and reverse rotate like it is right there. Um, not a big deal. We can do that pretty easy um so as you can see the completed kit here we put it up against a stock wheelbase lmt and a stock wheelbase of the mud trucks um this kit does have the rc four-wheel drive wheels and tires on it so you notice it's a little wider this truck has the proline destroyers on it these are very good tires this is what we have on order for this we just haven't gotten them yet now as you can see the wheelbase versus the wheelbase here is drastically different on the stock truck versus this race truck um, and that's designed for the racing purposes and then you go to the mud trucks and it's a whole lot closer i would say it's almost exact maybe off by a hair but you do notice some some uh, differences in the geometry of the suspension on this kit is drastically different than this truck so if you want the best of both worlds you want the better handling longer wheelbase race truck, I suggest you get one of these kits. Uh, even if you're not in the world of racing and you want RCs that are going to be collectible, I think this is going to be one of them. This is a limited run. They're not saying exactly how many, but if you want one, I would get your order in now because it's very likely that they're just going to go away. Um, as always, thanks for watching. And if you can guess what body we have in the works for this, put the comments down below. If somebody actually guesses it right, We'll mail you a sticker bomb pack. Thanks for watching.